Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode we're going to be reviewing this, the Electrify America Home Station Level 2 EV charging station for your garage. Now this is a relatively new unit, only been out about six months and I was one of the first to get my hands on this and install it and actually shoot some videos for you and now I'm going to be doing a full review and six month experience on this unit. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because we're coming right back at you. All right, everybody, well, welcome back. Like I was saying, I've had this unit now for about six months and being one of the first people to get my hands on it and one of the first people to get videos out to you to see this charger in action. Now, if you haven't seen any of those videos, I'll go ahead and link up here the unboxing video of when I first got it. And then later on, I will link some other videos that I've done as well. But this is going to be a full review and six month experience video with this charging unit. So let's just start with the basics here, which is the visual of the unit. Now, this is the unit up here. Now you see I have it pretty high mounted on my wall. And that was because I didn't want to have to try to sneak by it and hit my head on it or anything like that, which is why I ended up mounting it so high up here on the wall. Now this unit measures about 15 inches tall from the top to the bottom and roughly six and a half inches deep. So that's about how far it sticks out from the wall. So make sure before you decide on this product that you actually have enough room to fit this size unit on your wall. Now, as you can see, I decided to hardwire it as opposed to using a NEMA plug on the wall. Just thought it was gonna be nicer and a little bit cleaner to do. Now, this unit is capable of doing 40 amp charging, which means you would need a 50 amp breaker. Now, I decided to go with 40 amps breaker and a 32 amp charging rate. And for me, that has been doing perfectly fine. Now this charger is capable of going even slower than that. So it could do a 40 amp charge rate, a 32 amp charge rate, and it can also do a 16 amp charge rate with their respective breaker and wiring. Now in the six months that I've had this unit, I have not had an issue charging multiple vehicles on this. We typically charge our 2017 Hyundai Ionic, which I'm gonna be plugging into shortly so you can see it work. And I've also had this plugged into a Model 3 with the adapter. And on both vehicles, it has worked seamless without any charging faults uh, of any reason or nature. So this charging unit has been great. I've had no functionality issues with it uh, whatsoever. Now let's take a look at some of the details that they give you. Now this ring around here, this white ring on the inside, now this is actually a full LED ring and it will change colors based on what you're asking the charger to do. Now right now you see that it is green here on the bottom. Now if you see it just on this small part, this is actually a power saving feature. It actually will be the whole entire ring but after so long it times out and then it goes down to this just small section in the bottom to save power. Not sure how much power you're gonna be really saving from a couple of LEDs not working, but as you can see, it just has this small indicator LED on down here. Now, depending on what you're doing with the charger will depend on what color this ring is. Now, green means that it's turned on and ready. If you see a blinking blue, that means it is connected to a vehicle, but it is waiting a uh, connection to verify and to work. Once it goes solid blue, then that is basically saying that the car is connected and charging, so you're getting a successful charging back to the car. If it is red for any reason, that is a charging fault. Now, once again, I've said I never had any charging faults with this, so I haven't experienced the red LED as of yet, but if you do get a red LED, that is what that means. Now, there's also a color of yellow that you can get with this, but that is typically during the Wi-Fi setup. Um, so when you're initially setting up this product, you'll get the yellow ring around it to show that you're setting it up. So before we get to those different colors and I show you the different colors, let's go ahead and talk about the cable. Now, first of all, they give you this really nice holster that you mount to the wall. Now I know there are some EV chargers out there where the actual handle connects into the charger somewhere where you know that's where the handle is. But unfortunately with those type of designs, if you have it like mine where it's up higher up on a wall, you don't have that luxury of being able to easily grab the handle out of that charger if it's too high or if it happens to be in a corner of a garage. But in this case, they allow you to 
mount this holster here and not only is it a, a wrap for your cable there but it's also a holster for the actual J1772 plug. So that makes this really easy. You can actually end up putting this wherever you want the cable and charger to be at a convenient height and location. And then from there, you can just unplug, walk across the garage with it, and plug it into your vehicle. As far as the type of cable this is and how it works, um, it's, it's simple, it's really easy. It's, as you can see, it's really simple to make loops in this cable. You don't really have that issue of getting these weird kinks or weird like knots in the cable where it ends up fighting you and then you can't like quite get it looped perfectly like this but this was very easy for me to do I didn't have to fight with this just to make this very simple loop that you see right here now let's talk about a couple other things let's talk about the actual charging handle itself now this is pretty much just plastic um, it is extremely durable feeling though there really wouldn't be any concerns with me if I were to drop this um, onto the floor. I mean, I think the only weak spot would be this mechanism here where the latch is located. Um, but other than that, the handle itself is really solid. I mean, you can really hear that solid built uh, handle. And it's got some heft to it too. Like it's not just some cheap plastic over some cheap wiring. Like there is definitely some heft to this, which is really nice. Um, they use this really nice cable that goes into the handle and they definitely you know finish it up real nice it's not the cable does not move at all on this handle that is really solid you can't pull twist move that's not going anywhere in that cable in that holster there so that's really really nice to see um, now as far as the comfortability of the handle with it being just like a plastic I mean it's obviously just like holding onto a plastic it's not very rubberized or any type of grip to it there is this small gripping texture on the bottom here um, that's you know okay just to kind of give you an idea of, of where to hold it but other than that it's pretty comfortable as far as just plugging into a car probably nothing special compared to a lot of other ones on the market but that's what you're looking at there very nice very solid durable plastic handle with the J1772 adapter now another big consideration when it comes to EV car chargers is the the length of this cable now sometimes you get chargers that have like an 18 foot cable 20 foot cable sometimes 20 21 is about the average or normal length of cable you get with a lot of ev charger cables however this one is 24 feet and that's not like a, a an exaggerated 24 feet i just measured it it is 24 feet from right here on the charger to right here on the handle assembly, right there. It's not including the handle. It actually just goes right up to where it goes into. And actually it was about an inch or so longer than that. But that is nice to see because a lot of times they try to get you from this point of the charging handle and maybe a couple inches into the box as well because that's where the cables start. But no, this is a full 24 feet and 24 feet's already a long cable. And this actually from, for me, this actually reaches all the way from here, which is towards the back of my garage. That's the corner right there, all the way out into my driveway. And I got a relatively long garage. And it's nice because when I had my friend over with his Model 3, we were able to just unravel this cable, run it out to, you know the driveway and i was able to plug his car in all the way outside even though this was pretty far back in my garage but anyway nice build good quality long cable and a nice cable to boot and it's a pretty thick cable as well um but not overly thick you know it's not what you would imagine from like a, like a dc fast charger like there's nothing like that it's not that thick but it's definitely thick enough where it feels like it is of quality so definitely like that but anyway let's go ahead and plug this into a car and see what we get up here all right well there we go so we do have the blinking blue light here so now what this is saying is that this is connected to the vehicle but it is not charging and the reason that it's not charging my vehicle is because i have it set up in the app specifically so it doesn't charge until i tell it to and now there's a couple different ways of setting up the charge schedules or if you'd like to do it manually, like I have it set up where you actually have to pull your phone out and hit the start charge button. If you'd like to see all those features of inside the app, since you don't really have availability to see them until you have one of these chargers, take a look at this video I have up here. 
that'll actually go ahead and show you what's behind that home button in the app and it'll kind of give you an idea of whether or not the functionality and the extra settings and features that this charger offers is worth it to you before you go purchasing this charger. But anyway, now that we have this hooked up to the car, we see that it is blinking up here. We're gonna go ahead and start the charge. So all I'm gonna do is pull out the Electrify America app on my phone here, hit start charge, and we'll see how far of a, how long of a delay this is. Okay, there we go. So it was only about maybe five seconds for it to communicate to the charger over the Wi-Fi. So here we are, now we are charging the vehicle. And as we can see, we have the blue ring all the way around it. Now, what's gonna end up happening is this is actually gonna end up turning into a small uh, blue ring down here instead. Now this will stay blue as long as it is charging the vehicle. Once it is complete, charging the vehicle, it will then turn green to let you know the vehicle is fully charged. Now, most of us know out there that if you own an EV, you don't typically fully charge your EVs uh, due to the fact that it's not extremely healthy for the battery. But if you ever have one of those moments where you need to take the car on a long trip and you need to fully charge it, you can always look up at the charger itself and the charger will let you know that it's fully charged. So this way you don't have to go out to your car or check your app. You can kind of just sneak your head into the garage and see the lights on your charger. So that's a really cool feature there. Now, since the charger is capable of a 40 amp consistent charge rate, it is capable of 9.6 kilowatts of energy being delivered in that process. So it is faster than a lot of EVs can take nowadays. But nowadays we're seeing a lot of cars come out that can accept up to 11 kilowatts of charge rate. So this is pretty good running with a 50 amp breaker, a 40 amp charging rate. Um, it's, it's good. It's a decent speed. It, it'll definitely charge your car relatively quickly, um, especially if you can accept that full 40 amps of electricity into your car. Now, if you watched my installation video where I actually installed this unit in my garage, I'll put a link up here for that if you haven't. If you've actually seen that video, you would have seen the part where I was getting a bit frustrated during the initial setup of this charger. And what I mean by that was the actual setting up of the charger connecting to the Wi-Fi, connecting to my Electrify America app. And I was having a lot of issues with that. And I've gotten a lot of feedback and comments in a couple of those videos saying that they also had those issues. And I had many correspondence with Electrify Home um, with this issue and trying to get them to you know, resolve this issue quicker. And it took about a week before they actually got that resolved, for me at least. Now, I have heard that people are having much better luck getting these things set up now, and a lot of their software has now come a long way in that six months uh, since they've released this product. Now, as far as the app goes, they haven't really changed too much with the app over the past, you know, six months. And, you know, the app does what it needs to. Like I said before, you know, I, I posted before a link of the app and what it does, and you could take a look at that, and I go more in depth as far as what the app offers. Um, as far as scheduling and the app is relatively thorough as far as showing your charging history and being able to show you how much kilowatt hours it dumped into the car over the course of your session. You know, it, it does all the necessary things that an app should have just on top of the fact that you can control this with your phone. Um, you can also control the app or the device with, you know, your Amazon Alexa. Uh, as well and you know that's a kind of another cool feature where you can just tell your Echo or your Amazon I'll, I'm not trying to say the name again but you can just tell it to start charging your vehicle stop charging your vehicle on you know whatever schedule you want so you could just do that right there from the comfort of your couch or inside your home you don't even have to come outside or even pull out your phone for that type of functionality there's no buttons or switches anywhere on the charger so there's no on off switch here if you do want to turn it off you just end up having to turn it off from your your breaker panel or, but in this case it's a very nice simple but nice look to it first of all i love the black um, i always prefer black over you know some of the other colors that they might be out there like silver or whatever um, this gloss bezel is really, really nice on it. I, I really like the fact that it's got this glossy, kind of like a higher class look to it. And really the only thing that they put on the charger itself is the Electrify America icon right here in the middle, which is nice. And of course right here at the bottom is styled by a towel design. Well, I could definitely say that after six months of owning this charger, I am thrilled with it. I think it's of high quality. 
you know, it is, it is a nice solid looking charger. It just does the job correctly. The, the cabling is, is perfect. The cable handle is also very, very nice. They did such a good job of just making it of higher quality, just in the look, in the feel, everything about it just says, this is a high quality product that we are trying to sell here. And you know, and for the price, it probably, you know, demands it because it, it really is a little bit higher of a price than a lot of level two chargers you can get on the market. And some of those even have some different functionality or even more functionality in the apps than, than this one does. But the cool thing about software is that it's ever evolving and constantly changing and they can add more functionality to this. Well, everybody, that's about all I have for you for this charger. Now, if I did forget anything, I'll go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions relating to this charger or how it's been, for me over the past six months, go ahead and drop those questions in the comments as well. I'll go ahead and do my best to answer those for you. And you know, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I'll go ahead and throw those down in the description below. And I'll also put some of those in the comments as well. So this way you can get over to some of those previous videos, like the unboxing video, the installation video when I first put this up. And of course we did the video of uh, you know, what's behind the home button in the Electrify America app because you can't see anything behind that button unless you actually have one of these chargers hooked up. So if you're curious as to what the app looks like and all the settings that you can do with it, go ahead and take a look at that link as well. Those will bring you straight to my videos. Well, everybody, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope this video helped you make a decision on which level two charger to purchase. I went ahead and went with the Electrify America version for my first maybe my last level two home charger. We do have a second EV on the way. So who knows, there may be some reason in the future for us to have a second one for all we know. But anyway, I'd like to thank you very much again for watching this video. I'd like to ask you please to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check us out on our website, techmotoring.com, on Twitter, at techmotoring, facebook.com, slash techmotoring. Thank you again very much for watching, and remember, welcome to the future, and welcome to Tech Motoring. And we will see you on the next episode.